Some tar here. How's it going? Well, after our excessively long winter, we burnt right through our tire supply and had to go around the neighborhood there getting uh, borrowing some tires uh, off the neighbors. And of course, they weren't too impressed with that. But anyway, Deltor, uh, she kind of decided that uh, we might want to look at a warmer climate to live in. But anyways, for right now, we're looking at uh, we're getting tired of the kids have told me they're getting tired of taking staycations all the time here so we've decided to try for a real vacation now we looked into the cost of 440,000 passports for all the kids to uh, enable us to fly anywhere and of course that just wasn't going to happen on my salary so since flying uh, commercially was uh, out of the question and even uh, crossing a border without a passport could be difficult uh, we decided to uh, build our own airplane here so we're gonna make a flying boat named it the bloat so I'm gonna put uh, eight engines on it there we got these five horse engines that we get from the scrapyard all the time real cheap so we're gonna put four of them on each wing that'll give us about 40 horsepower we can probably juice them up a bit there with high compression heads and things like that maybe get 50 horse out of them but still it's it's just not going to be enough to get the bloat to take off on the water so we're going to stick this uh, j tow rocket in the back end to fire it during takeoff there that should give us enough to get us airborne according to the calculations of our alien scientists there they seem to know what they're doing got our mechanics working on these engines here building them up got uh, going to have a central fuel tank there and inside the fuselage there and of course uh, seats and uh, seat belts for all the 440,000 kids here and we're going to have uh, two flight engineers on each engine monitoring temperatures and how how uh, full the fuel tanks are all that type of thing keep her got to keep her airborne there now of course uh, there are some concerns there flying uh, south across Lake Ontario into the US uh, we're thinking Homeland Security might uh, tend to see us coming in at 50 feet above the waves there even though the plane's going to be made out of wood, it's going to have some type of a radar signature. So, uh, in case they get any ideas of uh, trying to shoot us down with an F-16 or something there, uh, we're uh, arming 100,000 of the kids with slingshots and gravel. So, uh, you uh, fighter pilots there, uh, you might want to make sure that your jet engines are uh, gravel-proof there before you try uh, taking us down. Anyway, because uh, we will try to defend ourselves. But, uh, so anyway, just, just keep in mind, though, that we're just on a vacation here. It's not like we're trying to invade or anything. Even though there's 440,000 of us, we're, we're just a little family, and we're, we're going on a vacation maybe to go see Watkins Glen or something there. You know, we've uh, pretty well investigated our uh, immediate vicinity here, so looking for uh, something different. Now, uh, in building the bloat here, we're uh, making it out of wood, and we're covering the wing the wings and pizza boxes and of course uh, duct tape is uh, an integral part of the equation there with the pizza boxes but we got some concerns because uh, our duck actual duck brand tape doesn't seem to be sticking very well these days we don't know what's going on there if we got a bad roll or what but anyway so we got some uh, engineering concerns to address still here and uh, that but we think we can get this uh, airplane boat flying there so so uh, pretty sure the bloat will actually work out one of these days we'll we'll make that trips out there and the kids will have a good vacation and they can uh, tell their school buddies this fall what they did so anyway everybody have a good one Santa here we'll catch you later